Sagen Sie jetzt mal bitte A. Ah. Anarchie. Ah, Anarchie. Anarchie. Ob geschichtlich oder brandaktuell. Mit Berichten und Interviews, mit Beiträgen und Collagen. Beleuchtet das anarchistische Radio Berlin das Phänomen des Anarchismus. Viva Anarchie! As Anarchist Radio Berlin, we had the opportunity of talking to an activist who is part of a group of people squatting an allotment garden in Warsaw, Poland. In this interview we get to know a bit of the origins of this project that started in spring of this year. The squad itself is based on the Reclaim the Fields initiative in Poland and has organized some action days a short while ago. Hello, Angel. We're sitting here in an occupied garden in Warsaw called Rot. Thank you for making yourself available to give A Radio Berlin an interview. Can you maybe first talk a bit about the origins of the project? Yeah, ja, klar. We have uns im März diesen Jahres, so 2015. Yes, of course. We met in March of this year, 2015, for the first time, in the context of a Reclaim the Fields meeting here in Warsaw. The plan was to see if there was the possibility here to occupy or squat something, to start a project. Then we set off and checked out a few selected places and ended up here. It's an abandoned allotment garden, or actually a part of a relatively big allotment garden. Relatively central, quarter of an hour by bike, and that's great. That's how it started. We decided to start here. In April the first people moved here. In May then we became five. It's growing all the time. How would you describe the background of the people who founded this project? The ones who really started the projects were Oscar and Bashar, who both lived in Sirena at the time. Sirena is an occupied house in the city center. They initiated the whole thing. Lukas was also involved from the beginning, Warsaw's anarchist scene. Can you mention a few stages of the project that allowed it to become what it is now? At the beginning everything looked very run down. It's important to mention that this part of the garden was bought by an investor. Namely, it had been bought from the city. The people who had gardens here had lease agreements, relatively long agreements, some even lifelong ones. They were basically ousted and their gardens appropriated. They were chased away more or less directly. The most resistant of them who fought the longest against leaving their houses were partly torched. That was a pretty extreme image, to see a burnt toy in a half-burnt house and so on. And so the first thing we had to do was simply to clear up, so that we could even start something. Almost all the houses had hardly been used by the actual owners in the previous seven years. They neglected. Some people spent their winters there on a temporary basis and there had been a lot of break-ins, theft, breakage. That was the first thing we had to do, just clear that all up again. Then we set up a kitchen as a communal room. Everyone took a house that she or he had cleared themselves and somehow set it up so they could live in. Since then we've kept growing. I mean, a few people have joined us. We now have two, three, four guest houses where guests can stay. Doesn't matter how long. It's very open here in that respect. We found the time to dedicate ourselves to communal things. We built a house, we built a teepee as a communal space and have made social spaces in that way. As you described it, there's a group of people who keep the project going. But it seems that there are also people who come and participate for a short time in projects and then disappear again. How many people are at the center of the project? What can you tell about that? Five of us founded it. In the meanwhile, I've become just a temporary presence here. Three further people joined who really want to be part of this for the long term. And then there's another person who is also just temporary. Nonetheless, these people are here for half a year already and will stay for another few months. Apart from that, there are always people from Sirena or Psychotnia, circles from the city, who either come out for a day or a week or so, come out into nature in the middle of the city, more or less. You put on so-called action days here, where you invite people to come and help to bring the project further. Have you a particular goal for these action days and for what time period are they running? 
Wir haben jetzt ähm, zwei Wochen lang versucht, äh, ja, die They are almost over now. We have now been trying for two weeks to increase the acceptance of our project in the area directly around us, in this neighborhood, by clearing up a square in front of the gardens, which was also neglected and full of rubbish. We mowed the grass, we set up tables, chairs, places to sit, to create a space for a social way of living. The nearby residents told us that they had some time ago lost the space they had in their neighborhood. It was simply taken away without compensation. We are trying to communicate to the people in the area what we are planning here, namely to be a social space for the neighborhood, where everyone can participate and take part freely. That's something we want to communicate. We built a small little house from the rubbish that we collected here and covered it nicely in earth and also with some tiles that were also lying around in the forest right in front of our door, which is also quite littered, something that neither the residents nor us like. We have simply tried to show that we want to do something and are against allowing an investor who wants to make a car park to take the entire allotment garden. Und uns dagegen stemmen, einfach hier die kompletten Kleingartensiedlungen einem Investor zu überlassen, der daraus einen Parkplatz machen will. That has worked wonderfully. You can see it. You have already managed to make something here. At the end of the action days, the guests and the people who want to get to know the project are looking forward to a concert event tomorrow. That's the first concert on the grounds, right? Im Grunde ja. Ja, das wird das erste. Basically, yes. That will be the first official concert in that framework. Five punk bands are coming. Bands kommen. Uh, we hope the place will be standing after. <laughs> yes, the fear is that it will get out of hand. Angel, thank you for the interview. Is there anything you would like to add? Yes, of course. Our name and how to find us. We are, of course, open to anyone who wants to come by. And they can, of course, stay for longer. We are called ROT. That's the previous abbreviation for Civic City Garden. It means something like allotment garden. We don't call ourselves a Civic City Garden anymore, though, but Radical City Garden. We are relatively easy to find when you come to Warsaw. In the occupied houses Sirena or Psychotnia, there is a route description of how to get to us. Or online through the Reclaim the Fields network you can find our contact details. So, come by. Great. Then we hope it's a brilliant first event here tomorrow and we say bye-bye. Ja, danke. Mach's gut. Thanks. Take it easy.